Lecture. Topic. Cytology. Structural organization of cell. Plan of the lecture. Number one. Levels of structural organization of organism. Number two. Tissues as systems of cells and their appendages. Number three. Cells as leading elements of tissue. The basic thesis of cellular theory. Number four. Structure and functions of plasma lemma. Number five. Intercellular junctions. Number six. Organelles. And number seven. Inclusions. Levels of structural organization of organism. There are the following levels of structural organization. The lowest level is chemical, then follows cellular, tissue level, organ, system, and at last whole organism. Chemical level. This very basic level includes atoms, the smallest units of matter that participate in chemical reactions, and molecules, two or more atoms joined together. Cellular level. Molecules combine to form cells, the basic structural and functional units of an organism. Among the many kinds of cells in your body are muscle cells, nerve cells, and epithelial cells. In this slide you see example of smooth muscle cells. Tissue level. Tissues are groups of cells and the materials surrounding them that work together to perform a particular function. In this slide you see example of smooth muscle tissue of mesenchymal origin which uh, Structural unit is smooth myocyte. Organ level. Organs are structures that are composed of two or more different types of tissues. They have specific functions and usually have rec recognizable shapes. Examples of organs are the stomach, skin, bones, heart, liver, lungs, and brain. In this slide, as example, is given stomach. System level. A system consists of related organs with a common function. An example of the system level is the digestive system, which breaks down and absorbs food. Its organs include the mouth, salivary glands, pharynx, esophagus, stomach, small intestine, large intestine, liver, gallbladder, and pancreas. Organism level. All the parts of the human body functioning together constitute the total organism. Tissue. Is compound system consisting of cells, cell appendages, intercellular substance or extracellular matrix. Cellular elements are individual, one nuclear, multinuclear. Cell appendages are merged cells, symplasts, postcellular structures. Symplasts. These are large formations consisting of plasma lemma with numerous nuclei. Example is striated muscle fiber. Postcellular structures. These are appendages of cells. Erythrocytes RBC without nuclei, corneal cells, squamer of epidermis, hairs, nails. In this slide, you can see smear of blood where a great number of RBC are visible. To postcellular structures, also appendages of cytoplasm are related. 
These are thrombocytes or blood platelets derived from cytoplasm of megakaryocytes. Syncytium. In some cases, when cytotomia was not complete, special structures appear. These are syncytium. Cells are connected by fine cytoplasmic bridges. This can be given uh, spermatogonia of testis, as example, and uh, mesenchyme of uh, chicken embryo. Extracellular matrix. It is product of synthesis in cells of mesenchymal origin. It consists of ground substance or a matrix and fibers, which can be reticular, collagen and elastic. Cell. The cell is basic unit of a living structure, a complex gel of protein, carbohydrate, fat, nucleic acids and inorganic material. Cellular theory. It was found by Schwann and Schleiden in 1838-1839. The main thesis of cellular theory are as follows. Number one, cell is elementary structural functional unit of living. Number two, cells of different organisms are similar according to their structure, functions, and chemical composition. Number three, cells are reproduced by division of initial maternal cell. Number four, cells have equal volume of genetic information. Number five, cells are parts of whole organism. Multicellular organisms are compound cellular ensembles forming whole systems. Structural components of cells. Cytoplasm, organelles, inclusions, nucleus. The bulk of the cytoplasm is water in which various inorganic and organic chemicals are dissolved or suspended. Organelles are metabolically active cellular structures that execute specific functions. Inclusions are non-living metabolic byproducts, storage forms of various nutrients or inert crystals and pigments. Nucleus is a storage of genetic information. Classification of organelles. Organelles are classified depending on presence or absence of membrane. So they can be divided into membranous and non-membranous. To membranous organelles are related plasma lemma, endoplasmic reticulum, Golgi complex, mitochondria, lysosomes and peroxisomes. Non-membranous organelles are ribosomes, centrioles, cytoskeleton. Plasma lemma. Every cell is surrounded by a bilipid plasma membrane. Plasma lemma functions in limiting, it means acting as an interface between the cytoplasm and the external milieu. The next function, maintaining the structural integrity of the cell, controlling movements of substances in and out of the cell, regulating cell-cell interactions, recognizing via receptors, antigens and foreign cells as well as altered cells. Establishing transport systems for specific molecules. The plasma membrane 
is best described by using a structural model called the fluid mosaic model. According to this model, the molecular arrangement of the plasma membrane resembles as an ever-moving sea of fluid lipids that contains a mosaic of many different proteins. Structure of plasma lemma The basic structural framework of the plasma membrane is the lipid bilayer, two back-to-back -back layers made up of three types of lipid molecules, phospholipids, cholesterol, and glycolipids. About 75% of the membrane lipids are phospholipids, lipids that contain phosphorus. Present in smaller amounts are cholesterol, about 20%, a steroid with an attached hydroxyl group, and various glycolipids, about 5%, lipids with attached carbohydrate groups. Glycocalyx Glycocalyx, composed usually of carbohydrate chains, coats the cell surface. This coat is usually composed of carbohydrate chains that are covalently attached to transmembrane proteins and phospholipid molecules of the outer leaflet. The most important function of the glycocalyx is protection of the cell from interaction with inappropriate proteins, from chemical injury, and from physical injury. Intercellular junctions. Plasma lemma of multicellular organisms participates in formation of intercellular junctions, providing intercellular interactions. Following junctions are present simple, compact, nexus, desmosome, synapse. Simple intercellular junction. It is simple intimacy of plasma lemma of neighbor cells for distance 15 to 20 nanometers without formation of special structures. Compact junction. Layers of two plasma lemma are maximum close and it makes impression of their junction. Nexus. In such type of junction, ionic canaliculi are present in plasma lemma. Desmosome. Consists of two electron-dense halves of glycoprotein origin belonging to plasma lemma of neighbor cells. Synapse. These are junctions between nerve cells. Excitation from one cell pass to another. Cytoplasm of cell includes hyaloplasm or a matrix of cytoplasm, organelles and inclusions. Organelles are constant formations having typical structure and a specific function in cell. Now about membranous organelles. Endoplasmic reticulum. Endoplasmic reticulum is aggregation of vacuoles, flat membrane secules or tubular formations. There are two types of endoplasmic reticulum. Rough ER when surface is covered by ribosomes and uh, smooth ER. The surface of uh, smooth endoplasmic reticulum doesn't contain ribosomes. Functions of endoplasmic reticulum. Rough ER synthesizes exported proteins, enzyme proteins, and membrane proteins. Smooth endoplasmic reticulum synthesizes lipids, steroid hormones, carbohydrates. Also, it deposits calcium ions and detoxify drugs. Golgi complex. Golgi complex is accumulation of flattened cisterns. Functions of Golgi complex Synthesis of polysaccharides and their connection with proteins. 
accumulation and excretion of ready secretions outside of cell, and formation of lysosomes. Lysosomes. These are corpuscles containing hydrolytical enzymes, hydrolases, splitting biopolymers till monomers. Function of lysosomes. Participation in intracellular digestion, decontamination of foreign material by phagocytosis, prevention from plenty accumulation of lipids, carbohydrates, and products of metabolism. Peroxisomes. These are oval corpuscles containing enzymes of oxidizing of amino acids and catalase, which decompose hydrogen peroxide. Catalase of peroxisomes plays protective role because of hydrogen peroxide is toxic for cell. Mitochondria. Mitochondria consist of external and internal membranes. Cavity of mitochondria is filled by matrix containing mitochondrial DNA and ribosomes. Function is ATP synthesis with the help of enzymes cytochrome oxidase and succinate dehydrogenase. Now about non-membranous organelles. Ribosomes. Ribosomes are corpuscles consisting of big and small subunits, complex of ribosomal RNA with proteins. There are two types of ribosomes, free and connected with endoplasmic reticulum. Free ribosomes are freely located in hyaloplasm and synthesize proteins for cell itself. Numerous free ribosomes testify about growth and differentiation of cell. Connected with the endoplasmic reticulum ribosomes synthesize exported proteins. Centrioles. It represents cylinder which wall consists of nine complexes of microtubules. Each complex consists of three microtubules and it is called triplet. Cellular center. Cellular center consists of daughter and maternal centrioles and connected with them microtubules centrosphere. Each centriole consists of nine triplets of microtubules. Cellular center functions in formation of a spindle of division in dividing cells and also source of formation and growth of microtubules. Cytoskeleton. Three components are present in cytoskeleton. Microtubules, microfilaments, intermediate filaments. Microtubules. They are long, unbranched, hollow tubes composed mainly of the protein tubulin. Microfilaments, the thinnest elements composed of the protein actin, and they are most prevalent at the edge of a cell. Help generate movement and provide mechanical support. Intermediate filaments, in different tissues they contain different proteins. In cells of epithelium protein is keratin, in cells of mesenchymal tissues, vimentin, in muscle cells, protein desmin is present. They are found in parts of cells, subject to mechanical stress, help st stabilize the position of organelles, such as the nucleus, and help attach cells to one another. Inclusions are inconstant components of cells appeared and disappeared depending on metabolic condition of cells. Classification of inclusions. They are classified into four types, trophic, 
secretory, excretory, pigment. Trophic inclusions. These are lipids, carbohydrates, proteins necessary for nutrition. In this slide you see fat inclusions in cells of liver. They are enumerated by three. To trophic inclusions also is related glycogen inclusion. In this slide you see glycogen. Arrow shows glycogen inclusions in cells of liver. Secretory inclusions. These are inclusions containing biologically active substances, for example, hormones, neuromediators, factors of growth, or some coenzymes. In this slide you see black accumulations of zymogen. Zymogen is coenzyme from which further enzyme trypsin is formed. Excretory inclusions. These are substances of cell metabolism which undergo to removing from organism. For example, urea, which is excreted with urine. Pigment inclusions, the last type of inclusions, they contain pigment. Can be exogenic origin and endogenic. Exogenic origin means coming from outside, for example, dust powder, dyes, and endogenic origin pigment inclusions are inclusions formed in our organism. For example, hemoglobin, bilirubin, melanin. In this slide you see as example pigment inclusions in pigment cells of skin. Thank you for attention.